Hello, welcome to another Dalo tutorial. Hope you're doing alright. Hope you're great. It's a new week and this is my first tutorial for the week. If you've not subscribed to this channel, feel free to click on the subscription button below. It's good for the YouTube algorithm. Besides, how better can you say thank you? Just subscribe. We're giving you this content, premium content for free. Anyway, that's by the wayside. Uh, today, we're going to be learning how to set up push notification in your Dalo app. Why? Why do you want to set up push notification? Because it's an easy way to get people coming back to your application every time. This works really if you're doing something that has some social media element into it that you require users to generate some sort of content. It could be an e-commerce store, it could be a it could be a social media platform, it could be a space where you want them to comment, it could be a blog, it could just be anything. Anything that requires you, your users to, you know, uh, leave comments or generate user, user, user content, notification works really great. So uh, let's dive into it so you learn how to create notification in your dialogue app. So this is a product home clone that I built. It has a lot of um, social media feature on it. So you can see users can upvote, they can view profile pages, they can view product details, add product. So you want to be able to leave notifications for all these things when the users, uh, when another user comment, when another user add a new product, when a user is followed, you know, stuff like that. So just we're just going to focus on the story. I think I think that's cool. Or let's just focus on the comment. Yeah. Let's focus on the comment part of it. This is the comment. Focus on the comment part of it. It's similar. So once you can if you can fix one, you can fix, you know, you can fix another one. This is a comment. This is where our action is gonna be. It's gonna be in the send button. I one good thing about notification on it when you're doing it on Adalo is that you don't have to request the user yourself. You don't have to set up anything. Adalo does it for you. For example, if we go to the home screen, let's look for the home screen. We go to the home screen and click on it this way. Scroll down, you see actions. You would see Adalo is already requesting notification permission from the user. Immediately, the user visits the home screen. So it's something that you don't have to do yourself. All you have to do is to set up notification and that's all. So uh, just like every other feature in Adalo, we can do it without setting up our database. Let's go to our database, add a new collection and call it notification. And say add. Then we'll click on the name. The name of the notification will be, we'll just call it notification header. We'll call it notification header. Save. Add another property, we say notification body. Notification body. So the reason why this is like so, you've had, you've seen on your phone, notification will always have a, head, a headline and then there is a tiny text beneath it that your phone can show. Even your WhatsApp notification, all of it, that's the way it is. Notification header, notification body. And here you have to, you have to then relate your notification with whatever you want to you want users to you want to notify the users with. So here we're doing comments. So we're going to say add a property. This time it's going to be a relationship with the comments. Uh, so a comment can have multiple notifications. A notification belongs to one comment. So we'll leave it here. One to one relationship. Uh, that's how we want to do it. And also we can we we will add uh, we would add another relationship with the user. We would say a user can have multiple notification. A notification belongs to one user. So that's what we want to do. So we would say notification recipient. You can call it whatever you want to, but the, 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 it's just very good to follow good naming conventions when you're doing all this. So let's go to our, our comment button. Watch this very closely. You're going to be doing this a lot. We'll click on the send. Come back here. The first action is that it's create comments on a, another person's post. So we'll go ahead and say add a notification, add a, an action, trigger a notification. Then who is going to be the recipient? It will be the owner of the post. Yeah, current product user. 
that's going to be the owner of the post current product user this application have to use the person who created the product and the person who is currently signed in so you're not going to be sending notification to the person who's creating the notification but instead you're sending it to the person who created the post and this other person is commenting understand right so you know product hunt product hunt has product and it has uh it has product you can comment leave a comment on the product so here we're saying we are going to send this notification to the post creator. That's what we're doing. So we're saying, okay, we're going to be sending the notification to the to the current product user or the current product owner. Any of them, it's it's fine. It's fine. So we're saying we're sending it to the current product user. That's what we said. We're sending it to. Then the the title will be, hey, current product user name. Current product user name. Uh, yeah, you have a notification. Or we could say, you could say the person who's leaving the comment just sent you a message. Simple, but that's fine. We're not going to do that here. Then the body will be the comment. So we say, Input so the body will be the comment here. So you can, the body can be the comment, like here. So this is going to be. It's going to just trap this. It's going to just trap the input, like so. That's how it's going to be. Then when a user click on it, where do you want them to go to? You want them to go to. You want them to go to this. You can tell take them to this post right here, like so, or you can take them to a notification screen. So we just do so and say add a screen. We we'll call this notification screen. So this is going to be a list of notifications. That's what it's going to be. Uh, let's just call it a simple list and say create. So it takes them to the notification screen. That's all you need to do, and it's done. Then another thing that you want to do is that you want to be able to display notifications for your users. That's something you want to do. So we'll go back to our, notific uh, our user screen, our notification screen, right? That's where we'll go back to. So this is our notification screen, like so. We don't want this, so we'll delete it. Come back here, and it's going to say, what's this is going to be a list of? It's going to be a list of notifications. All notifications, no. It's going to be notifications for... It's going to be notifications where the recipient email is the same as the user. It's going to be the where the recipient email is equal to the logged in user's email. That's going to be the notification. That's the only notification that we'll display right here. And so you just go ahead and say title is going to be the notification header. Subtitle is going to be the notification body. That's the subtitle. Then the image here is going to be the current logged in user's email. The image of the person who left the comment it could be or it could be the current logged in user image depending on what you want to do with it so it's going to be database comment user comments photo product comment to me no so here because we're doing some sort of because we're we are, we are making product hunt, it could be the thumbnail of the product that was commented on this person's product, or it could be the user, the person, the person who left the comment, the photo of the person. That's what we're doing. So the photo of the person who left the comment, and then you can also do this that when a when a person click on this notification, you take them to the particular screen that displays to the particular screen that displays the product, the comments, so they can take a look at it. That's how notification works. And another thing to do is that when you get to, you, you can take your users to the home screen and allow them view notification. Cool, right? Uh, I wonder where this is gonna be. But it could be in the profile, the profile screen, where you have the profile, let's go find it. Could be where we have the profile. So users, yeah, it could be on the profile page here. And you can add something here. Just add a, you can add a test and call it notifications. Yeah, notifications. And on click, it's going to link to the notification screen. 
I know this is a bit hidden. This is not such so much so, some sort of a good user experience uh, because you, it's this is very hard to find. It's very hard to find in the user journey, and it's crazy. But just wanted to put it here so you you understand what I'm talking about. So that's basically that's basically the way this works. If you want to take this further, you can come back here to your database and create a notification type. Yeah, a type. So if you have here, yeah, we have story, we have product, we have comments, lots of it. So you could create a notification type and only displays the notification for a particular thing and then send them to different screens entirely. You can send the same notification to the same screen. So if it's going to be for comments, you send it to the comment screen. If it's going to be for product, you send it to the product screen. If it's going to be for stories, you send it to the story screen. So it really depends on it really depends on what you like to do. Uh, and also, I'm giving something free. If you're watching this video, this template, I'm giving that for free. So if, you, if you're interested, if you're building something that close to Product Hunt, yeah, you build it something like this, close to Product Hunt. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, leave uh, a comment in the comment section, and uh, do well to send it, send it to you. I'll send a clonable version to you for free. So this, you could change this into a listing site. You can change it into a social media site. You can just modify it. It has almost every feature you 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 would want in a social media like application. So that's it. That's how to add notification to your push notification to your Adalo application, feel free to leave your comment and don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you need help with your Adalo application, very open, feel free to click on the link on the, on the link in the description below and contact me and I'll do well to work on your, on your application with so much, uh, so much perfection and precision. Thank you so much. Have an Adalo work week ahead.